Hey everyone, we're here at Vans Aircraft in the prototype shop this time. I wanted to give you a quick business update for late March 2024. We've been making good progress on uh, restructuring, uh, shipping a bunch of kits, making a bunch of parts, and I uh, wanted to give you a, a quick update on all of that. I want to start off by saying thank you to everybody, all your support, the customers that have reordered, the, all everybody that we've been talking to, uh, working through the process of uh, getting kits and replacement parts for laser cut parts and working on engine orders and propeller orders and a bunch of other things. Uh, it's been uh, it's been good talking with people. We know it's frustrating sometimes. Uh, we have a lot of people here that have been working really, really hard to make what has needs to happen happen. Uh, and we thank you for working with us on that. We'll talk a few numbers to start. We've shipped quite a few kits since late December. In fact, more than 375 kits have been uh, uh, packed and shipped, you know, averaging probably just over 30 a week, which is quite a bit. We're almost, not quite, but almost 30% through uh, shipping all of the kits that were reordered as part of the process that started in December. Uh, in addition, new orders are coming in and those numbers are growing and we really appreciate that. Um, and and uh, it's exciting. We're looking forward to uh, being able to get back to the new normal and being in a position where we can deliver kits to everyone and do it relatively quickly. Speaking of which, you know, we are taking orders and the order forms are online. They're live for kits and engines and propellers. Um, and we will very, very soon be publishing lead times. So should you order a new kit, whether that be a tail kit or a wing or a fuse or a finish kit or what have you, we'll have lead times posted for new kit orders. So you can expect to see that sometime in the next couple of weeks. People, of course, also have questions about the restructuring process in this Chapter 11 process that we've been going through. And uh, we're making good progress on that. And here in the next little while, right toward the end of March, we'll be filing our restructuring plan with the bankruptcy court. And so that's uh, coming real soon now. Uh, and there'll be more information available about that when that happens. Uh, in addition, tours are open and demo flights, and we've been doing that for the last couple of weeks. So each weekday at 9.30 a.m. and 1.30 p.m., twice a day, is an opportunity. Just come to the front desk over at the headquarters building. We'll be more than happy to uh, show you the factory, answer your questions, uh, talk to you about flying and building RVs and, you know, weather permitting and airplane availability permitting. If you've never flown an RV before and if you have a private pilot certificate or actually a student pilot certificate or higher, more than happy to take you for a demo flight and give you a quick taste of what it means to put on an RV and fly it and get that RV grin. So uh, if you have questions about tours, if you're coming from out of town, we would also recommend that you give us a call or drop us an email to infoadvanceaircraft.com or give us a call 503-678. 6545 and let us know that you're going to be coming. We'll put you on the calendar. So we know you're coming for the tour. And if there's a specific demo flight or airplane that you want to check to see if we think it's going to be available while you're here, we can always check into that as well. We've also shipped quite a few packages of replacement parts to customers that are looking for parts to replace laser cut parts that they receive with their kits. And uh, making good progress on that, we've shipped more than 360 orders to customers. Um, and the way that works is our team, uh, there's a website that we send a link to. We ask you to select which parts it is that you're going to need and what you want for your build. We get those in stock as they're produced. And then we send another email asking you to confirm that the list is in fact exactly what you need. And then once you've done that, we set it up and we get that order into our queue. And generally within a few weeks after going in the queue, we package up those parts and our team ships them to you. Uh, and that's going really, really well. So more than 360 orders have been shipped uh, as of the time of this recording. And uh, so that's going really, really well. And we appreciate uh, all of our customers and support and understanding and patience as we've been working through that. We're working really, really hard and have teams, a uh, team of people that are dedicated really to just doing that. We have a lot of questions coming in about Lycoming engines, uh, people that have engines on order or that want to order engines now. You know, what are the lead times? Uh, the engines that are on order, when are they going to be produced and what does that schedule look like? We are working with Lycoming and we have been to uh, produce that schedule. Uh, and uh, Lycoming is, uh, governs the, how much can be produced in a given period of time. And of course we have input into, you know, what order are those produced in and what have you. And so that work is ongoing. We have engines being built. Uh, quite a few engines will be built in April and May, and it uh, looks like we'll hopefully be able to ramp those numbers up each month as we go throughout the course of this year. And we've been reaching out to the first 
handful of customers that are uh, whose engines are being built in April. We're reaching out over the next few months as well. And we are working in, in the process of developing the schedule for all the engines that are on the list. And we'll be communicating that information as soon as it's available uh, to each customer that has an engine on order. We're also hiring right now. So we have job openings uh, for a variety of different types of jobs, technical and office. We have uh, positions for airframe and power plant mechanics or AMP mechanics, uh, engineers, a couple of engineer positions, uh, jobs working, doing hands-on work in the prototype shop, both A&P and technical, uh, builder type work. We have uh, office jobs also, so we are uh, looking to hire somebody for our purchasing department, especially if there's somebody that has uh, experience working with uh, vendors that we buy parts from and source parts from. Uh, that would be really great, um, especially if you have experience in the aviation industry. And uh, we have a, we're hiring a freight management person to can handle uh, our over-the-road truck freight, as well as international container shipping. So if you are somebody that might be interested in that, or if you know somebody who might be a good fit for that job that would be looking to uh, work at Vans Aircraft, then let us know. You can send an email to jobs at vansaircraft.com, and you'll also find some of those on our careers page on the website, and, uh, and we also use Indeed, where we post job postings, so you can check there. Uh, a brief reminder, too, that as far as shows this year go, we will be at Oshkosh, and we're super excited about that. In fact, we've been planning, you know, which airplanes are going to go and, and starting to get our uh, plan together for that show. Uh, we won't be at Sun and Fun, and we won't be at Aero Friedrichshafen this year. You know, that's coming up very soon now, and we, we've got our noses to the grindstone, our heads down, working really hard on making parts and getting things delivered and doing the planning that it takes. And that's really where we're focusing our energy. We'll look forward to being back there next year. But for this year, we're, the big show will be out. We're looking forward to see you at Oshkosh. People have been asking questions about the RV-15 project, and we certainly understand that. It's a strategic project for Vans Aircraft. So for those of you that have been asking, is it still happening? The answer is definitely yes. So our teams have uh, had some delays and have had to set aside some of that work as we've been working through the restructuring process and everybody taking on extra responsibilities with that. But the RV-15 project is very much alive and well, and we're really excited about getting the first backcountry high-wing RV to the market, a critical strategic project for Vans Aircraft. Uh, as a result of the changes that need to take place and the work that's being done, we most likely won't have the RV-15 at Oshkosh this year. It'll be in the prototype shop here and there'll be work going on with it. And so we probably won't be able to fly it back. We'll certainly do some presentations and, and, uh, and share with you what's going on and what the plans are while we're at Oshkosh and talk about it. Uh, but we wanna make sure you understand that it's probably not gonna be there. I wanna finish by saying once again, thank you very much. We really appreciate all of our customers. Uh, and all of the folks out there that are building or considering building or are flying our airplanes. That's about it for this March update, and we will talk to you again in April. And uh, again, thank you, and uh, enjoy flying you know, or building or whatever you're doing, and we'll talk to you soon.